At the end of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, Captain Price brings up the idea to Kate Laswell that he wants to put together a task force. A task force known as the 141. Now, we know this task force from the first three Modern Warfare games, and we know that a major part of this task force is none other than Soap McTavish. And as it turns out, while he presents this idea to Kate Laswell, he brings up three soldiers that he wants to be an inaugural part of this crew. Who's your crew? Sergeant Gary. Kyle? They call him Gaz. He never said anything. John McTavish, SAS, sniper, demolitions, goes by soap. Why? It's classified. <laughs> There he is, Simon Riley. There's no picture. Never. Not the rest. That's neat to know. Unless we got a deal. What are you calling this task force? One four one. Now here's what's interesting about that. After the launch of Modern Warfare, now we know who two of those three characters actually are in this universe. First of all, we have Kyle Garrick, aka Gaz. He was a main part of the Modern Warfare story. After that, we have Simon Riley, or Ghost, who was added in Season 2 of Modern Warfare. But finally, we have Soap, a character who has not yet been added into the game. Now, here's the thing. On this channel, I like to do stories about the various campaigns and characters from the different Call of Duty games. And most of the things that I've done up to this point were looking at individual characters and their specific stories. And a lot of the times I take requests from you guys as to what you want to see, what characters you want me to dive into their story on. Today is a little bit different. Today we're diving into what I believe is one of the best stories in any Call of Duty game. In fact, I would probably say it's one of my favorite stories out of any of Call of Duty. And this time, it's not about one individual character. It's about two. This is the story of Captain Price and Soap McTavish. It's the FNG, sir. Go easy on him, sir. It's his first day in the regiment. Right. What the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? How'd a Muppet like you pass selection? This story begins right at the beginning of Call of Duty 4, the first Modern Warfare game. The very first thing that Soap is called by Price is a Muppet. And from then on in, you kind of assume that Captain Price is going to be your typical hard-ass military soldier that kind of always bosses you around. But that actually couldn't be further from the truth. But I guess I shouldn't really say that, because for about the first third of this game, that's exactly what you are led to believe. The second mission of this game, the first real mission for Soap, McTavish is literally called crew expendable to make you think you're just another expendable soldier but that's kind of turned on its head when in literally two encounters on this mission alone your ass is saved by price twice this is thinking we've got to go now come in damn it this is bravo six we're on our way out on your face soldier we are leaving jump for it And then after this, for the next couple of missions, you get to experience what I like to call the Price Show. Price being a total badass, beating up people, and that is until you run into Al-Assad. And you get to hear a little bit more of the backstory of Captain Price. Well, that is after he does this. Who was that, sir? Zakayev. Imran Zakayev. And this is actually a really big turning point for the game as a whole, because instead of seeing Captain Price as, well, a captain, you actually get to see him and play as him as a lieutenant under Captain McMillan. And this is a really important part of the game, because it shows Captain Price as more of a vulnerable character learning from a different captain. And you actually get to see why Captain Price treats Soap the way he does. It's not necessarily him just being a badass, it's it's him taking soap under his wing like Captain Price was taken under Macmillan's wing. This is going to come into play in a big way later. 
Another reason why this mission is incredibly important is it explains the motivations of Captain Price from here on out for the rest of the Modern Warfare games. Essentially, when he takes the shot to kill Imran Zakaev and misses and just hits his arm, Captain Price then blames himself for the entire events moving forward of the rest of the Modern Warfare games. Essentially, if he would have hit that shot, none of these wars may have taken place. They may have, but to him, that's not the way it seems. And then after this point throughout the Call of Duty 4 campaign, it almost seems as though Captain Price tries to take Soap under his wing a little bit more in every single mission, until the end of Call of Duty 4, where Soap and Price are trying to track down Imran Zakaev when they get shot out of their vehicle and trapped on a bridge. And when it seems like they're totally backed into a corner, there's only one way of survival. Price has to completely put his trust into the hands of Soap. Instead of Price trying to take the kill shot, he throws his pistol over to Soap, who then is able to take out Imran Zakaev. This scene is incredibly important, not just because it's the death of Imran Zakaev, but this is the first time Captain Price is fully able to put his trust in someone else. And that someone is Soap. Now, after this Soap and Price narrowly escape, you even see a couple of medic soldiers doing CPR on Captain Price, but they make it out alive. Captain Price was able to put his trust into Soap's hands, and it worked. Now, here's where things get weird, because the next mission that they went on as a pair was known as Operation Kingfish, and it takes place before Modern Warfare 2. And this is the explanation of how they get all of the intel on Makarov. They raid a facility, they find this information, but at the end of this mission, Captain Price ends up getting cornered in a field with Russian soldiers closing in on him, and his team is not able to save him. He gets taken captive, and Soap is clearly devastated that he can't go back and help his mentor. And from this, the Task Force 141 soldiers would assume that Captain Price is dead. That is, until Modern Warfare 2. So right off the start of Modern Warfare 2, there are essentially four main scenes in this game that completely change the Price and Soap relationship. The first of which is off the beginning of the game, you assume that Captain Price is dead. He is gone, he is not in the game, and right off the start, we find out that Soap McTavish has been promoted to Captain McTavish, and he is overlooking a new soldier, Gary Roach Sanderson, or just Roach. And the first two things that we see of Soap McTavish as a captain is number one, he's smoking a stogie, just like Captain Price did, and number two, he saves Roach's ass almost immediately, just like Price did for Soap. The second important scene is, of course, in the Gulag, when Task Force 141 goes to save prisoners 627, when they eventually get to the prisoner, this is what happens. This belongs to you, sir. Who's so? Come on! We gotta get out of here! Now, here's the thing. The important part of this scene isn't the fact that Soap saved Price. Yes, that helps the story progress, but the important part of this scene is that as soon as Soap realizes that that prisoner was Captain Price, the very first thing he does is give him back his pistol. The exact same pistol that Price throws to him at the end of Call of Duty 4. Once again, this is going to come into play later. The next scene that I always found weird is the death of Roach and Ghost. Now, it's not weird because they die. I think that's an amazing plot point in Modern Warfare 2. But the weird part about it is the very beginning. In this cutscene, Ghost actually asks for permission for Ghost and Roach to specifically go to the safe house alone, leaving the two captains, Price and Soap, 
to go on their own mission. It would be weird to not have a captain on a mission. Why wouldn't you send a captain to both locations? And it is Price that actually gives the thumbs up for those two to go on that mission alone. And well, we all know how that turned out. Good. That's one less loose end. Now, imagine the guilt of Price and Soap, the two captains that leave their crew stranded for death. That guilt is something that only Price and Soap can share together. In the final mission of Modern Warfare 2, Price and Soap together go to avenge their friend's death. And what you have to realize at this point is the only people really left in Price's life are Soap and Nikolai. That is it. Everyone else has died. Roach, Soap, Gaz from Call of Duty 4, everyone is dead. And we are left with Soap. And this is where the turns finally table. Because when everything looks lost, once they have tracked down Shepard, Soap is stabbed in the chest, Price is getting the crap beat out of him, but this time, it's not Price that saves Soap, like in Call of Duty 4, it's actually Soap that saves Price. But here they are, laying close to death, stuck in the middle of the desert. Soap has a giant knife wound in the middle of his abdomen, but Price is able to get up and get the two of them out there. However, Soap is extremely close to death. And this is where the events of Modern Warfare 3 pick up. Now, this is where the entire story gets tied together. This is my favorite part of these two characters' story arcs. So, first off, right away at the beginning of Modern Warfare 3, Soap is near death, and Captain Price needs to get him to safety, get him a doctor, and get him healthy. And with the help of a new soldier named Yuri, he is able to successfully do so. And once Soap is finally healed, they get back on their feet, get back to doing their soldiery duties, and trying to take down Makarov. Until one crazy event happens. Price, get out of there! Yuri, my friend, you never should have got here. talking about? Get out now! Now, after taking a 8 to 10 story fall, Soap is in some pretty bad shape. And you may have noticed that Price didn't run over and check on Yuri. He immediately went to check on Soap. It's his buddy. He's been around for years. And we're going to see more of that in a second here. But this next scene is, in my opinion, probably the saddest scene in any Call of Duty game. This is where this relationship between Price and Soap comes to an end. Just rest. Get a medic! Come on, stay with me, son. Nice. <laughs> no. Makarov. No. Oh, no, 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 no! So! No, no, no! So! You have to go! Now! Get off me! Now this scene is huge 
for so, so many reasons. First of all, this is the first time in the entire trilogy where you actually see Captain Price lose his cool and freak out a little bit. And then after this, once he regains his composure, he then goes and does one last act towards Soap. He gives him back the pistol. This is the same pistol from Call of Duty 4 that was slid to him to kill Imran Zakaev. It's the same pistol that Soap gave back to him after saving Prisoner 627 from the Gulag. And it is finally the pistol that Soap was laid to rest with. It's a symbol of their friendship. It's a symbol of this almost father-son relationship that Captain Price had with Soap. And it's the same type of relationship we saw with Macmillan and Price. It's the same type of relationship we saw with Soap and Roach. And then finally, Captain Price is left with Yuri. Yuri and Nikolai, but Nikolai kind of just flies the helicopter. But in the final mission of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 campaign, we see Yuri get shot by Makarov. After which, Captain Price finally takes out Makarov. But, there's one thing I never hear people talk about when it comes to Modern Warfare 3. Everyone thinks that Modern Warfare 3 has this really, really happy ending. But it doesn't. Yes, the world is saved, the World War 3 is over, but... Captain Price, who started the Modern Warfare series surrounded by his fellow soldiers and friend, and his soon-to-be friend, Soap, is now alone in a rubble building, the world destroyed around him. He is completely and utterly alone. I know, not the most uplifting ending to this story, but I do think it's an amazing story. The contrast between Captain Price surrounded by his fellow soldiers calling Soap a Muppet to the very end where he lays alone, wounded, injured, smoking that last cigar is such an amazing contrast in a character's story arc. And personally, it may not be a happy ending, but it's a story that I absolutely love and I'm glad I could share it with you guys. So as always, if you do enjoy these type of videos, it is appreciated if you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, want to stay up to date on all these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn notifications on. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, peace out.